So we're on the way back to Budapest and I'm sitting here with Tomas. And Tomas, where are you working? I work for Huawei Technologies Hungary. Okay, and you're very involved with the terminal. Indeed, we are the one who are supplying the 5G technology to enable all the remote operations and, and all this di industrial digitization mm -hmm. on this very terminal. And what can you do for the terminal? Oh, many things. I mean, right. amazing stuff. Um, but first of all, we create um, an underlying layer of uh, 5G connectivity all around the whole terminal. Mm -hmm. So that we will cover all parts of the terminal uh, with the 5G signal. Uh, and we are enabling all the devices communicate with each other and with the network. And we put very different applications on top of that. So as it is, 5G is not the answer. It is an enabler of creating real industry digitization projects. Can you name an example of a typical thing that can, couldn't be done without 5G? Oh, yes. Um, I mean, here, our first use case, what we will use, is remotely operating the free cranes. So here on the side, um, the terminal will have four cranes all together, and one of them is a completely free crane on rubber tires, on its own um, diesel generator, and it can freely move around all um, the, the whole terminal. And it couldn't be, I mean, it either needs a, uh, an operator right on top of the crane, but the vision of this terminal is that it should be a digitized high technology uh, terminal. So all of the cranes will be remotely operated. But let's, let me start with why 5G, okay? Mm -hmm. So why we couldn't do it with 4G, for example, here. Good question. So one of the benefits of 5G is that it not only provides higher bandwidth on the downlink part of the communication, but also provides very high bandwidth on the, on the uplink. Why we need it here? Because we need HD high definition cameras working on the cranes, sending it to the control room where the operators can see in real time what they are doing. And we have to send back their control signals to the cranes so that the cranes are doing what they actually, you know, control them to do at the, um, at the remote terminal. So the other thing, uh, so we can send these high definition camera images up in the network with the high, def, uh, with the high bandwidth. And we can also use 5G's very low latency so that um, these controls are implemented in real time. And how new is all of this? This is very new. I mean, uh, all of this is coming with 5G technology. The very first 5G networks have been implemented in 2019. So the, port, uh, so the point of this is that um, this is a unique project, what we have mm -hmm. seen here. Uh, this is... Um, this is something which is a greenfield, completely greenfield operation where the, the investor and the CEO had a vision to create something extraordinary, um, uh, exceptional um, from the very beginning. But it can be, I mean, the technology can be used also for brownfield digitization projects. Right, so... Um, do you see that coming? Do you, do you think terminals are interested in this? I do believe. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, correct me if I'm wrong, but in my opinion, logistics is an efficiency business. So the more efficient you can be, the higher profits or the higher um, you know, business opportunities you have. And this is exactly what we talk about uh, when we talk about um, efficiency. Yeah. And in general, this is a fairly new technology. Hmm. So even the very, very first 5G networks have been implemented in 2019 in China, uh, mainly because they had so huge population density that they couldn't serve um, the, the population with, with connectivity. Um, and, um, and the other thing is that there is an ongoing, I wouldn't say war, but a, a competition, a healthy, um, you know, competition for industry digitization between continents even, I would say, US, Europe, China. Um, and, um, and it's really driven by efficiency. So digitization in its own doesn't bring the, the big benefits, but digitizing complete industries means that they can be more competitive against each other. And this is what something has been realized and recognized and built uh, already in China, such a, for example, a three-dimensional system, which we have seen with Maxwell, so that the, um, that the operator is, uh, is sitting on a higher level. They are just controlling that which, uh, which container goes where, uh, and then the system does the, uh, the movements automatically. 
just as we did in our own warehouse. You see, so uh, the other use case which I wanted to show you is uh, is in our warehouse in Hungary. Uh, you know, we started uh, uh, we started a little bit further in China, but um, but um, the the other use case which I wanted to show you is already in, in Hungary. This is our uh, this is our warehouse in Pach, very close to Budapest. Um, Huawei has um, has its largest logistics and manufacturing operation outside of China here in Hungary. This is what is called ESC or European Supply Center. This is where we are serving the whole European community uh, and a few other countries as well. So this was the very first uh, 5G private network project in Hungary um, where we automized the logistic processes on the shop floor so we are using automated forklifts, we are using automated high lift forklifts and we are using a few more technologies to optimize our operations and provide us a better environment and, uh, and a much more efficiency in what we do, right? So one of the things which I wanted to show you is actually an augmented reality glass which we are using in the warehouse. Okay. This glass has a camera, uh, mm -hmm. a 2K HD camera on the front and it has inside here a small display which is which you can see as a normal display so we use it for further enhance our processes um, as i said we have manufacturing here mm -hmm. and the huge r d investments which we are doing are mainly in china so our r d engineers are working in china but if we had any issues to um, during manufacturing with the devices um, we usually it take quite a long time to overcome um, these issues because we needed a lot of different communication. With these glasses, the operator just takes it on. Mm -hmm. Looks classy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the operator just takes it on. Uh, and can uh, Yes, can you please? I mean, yes. I'm pretty uh -oh. sure it looks much better on you than on me. Uh, what, um, should I see something or am I Not at this point. I mean, uh, I, have to, I have to connect it to my 5G phone ah, if, uh, okay, to okay. work. But, um, but the point is that we can shorten the time mm -hmm. to to repair things uh, we can make sure that uh, that things are uh, are working much more efficient all right thank you very much it was great thank you